It's Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to show you how to do a super fast file transfer from server to server using the Linux wget tool. So I'm just going to have a fictitious scenario right here. Let's pretend this is my website, eastrust.johnnyvps.com. It's on my USA server, and I want to move it to my European server, right? So you can see this is an entirely different server. And right, so this one's the USA East Coast, the other one was the Europe server. So here I have a fake backup file, it's two gigabytes. This is the file name. And I'm gonna download it directly to the other server. So let me just copy it so I don't have to retype that. You need to get to the command line and from here, as you can see, um, I jump, you know, j just get to wherever you wanna download it to and then we will type in the domain address, uh, the address to download the file. So, do, 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 and there you go. And it starts to download the file. So you can see how fast it's downloading. And that was a two gigabyte file and it's gonna be done in a minute. So I use this to move giant backup files, right? Um, sometimes we have clients that 20 gig site, 100 gig site, it's gonna be so much faster doing it this way to go from server to server and leverage the, the super fast transfer rate of your data centers, right? That would be much better than um, what many people I see, the worst way would be uh, to download it to your home computer on FTP and then uploading it to the new server using your slow home internet connection. Then the other, the second other, the other method, which is in my opinion, not really all that convenient and faster but not better would be some people will like use a backup plugin and they'll download it to Google Drive or Amazon S3 or some other remote you know st file storage and then again uh, retrieve it from Google Drive or Amazon S3 again you're adding an extra proxy and it's going to be slower when you uh, try to tr uh, transfer files that way so I would transfer it directly from server to server now, if for whatever reason you're on your your source server, if you don't have space, right, to, to make one uh, compressed archive, one backup file, because you're just out of space, then you'll have to use rsync. And rsync will be able to copy many files and that will not be covered in today's video. Today I have to show you how to use wget, which is very simple. Just wget and then put in the file URL and it'll download the file to your server. Now, there is one more thing you have to do. So once you have the file downloaded and you're using the Linux command line for this, you have to change the ownership. So you see right here, uh, the user for this account is Johnny BPS and the group, uh, the owner, sorry, the user owner and group owner for this account is Johnny BPS. And right here it says root, root and root, which means if you try to go to the file manager or FTP and try to extract it, it won't happen. Uh, so you have to update the, the owner. So you can do that just by, right? Type in the new owner and uh, the new owner user and owner group. And here, there you go. And let's check ownership again. And there it is. And then from here you can extract. Okay, now for me, my user's Johnny BPS. Yours might say something like car site or you know, arts and roses and whatnot. So that's it, super fast, super easy. If you got a 50 gig site, do it the smart way, use WeGet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions, leave it in the comments. See you guys next time.